This figure also deal with overcurrent protection when the exception one to 408.36 is being applied. Now notice in the service equipment to the left, we're not limited to uh, 42 circuits. For example, by the rules that changed in a, a couple of the uh, additions of the code in the past, said we could have a, say an 800 amp main there and have as many as 80 to 100 amp uh, overcurrent devices below it. In other words, you wasn't restricted to 42 circuits. But we had to determine a way to count these breakers. So the uh, circuit breaker counting procedure is listed in the boxed in information between the two pieces of equipment that you see in the drawing. A single pole breaker counts one. A double pole breaker counts two. And a three pole breaker counts three toward counting the number of circuit breakers in a panel board. Now notice individual protection is not required on the panel to your right because the main in the service equipment protects the conductors, protects the, uh, the bus bar in the panel, and notice uh, the panel board can have more than uh, 42 circuits if we're applying uh, exception one to 408.36. So uh, what does this uh, figure 7-15 illustrate to the electrician or the designer how do we count the number of overcurrent devices in a panel board is shown in the boxed in information and if we're locating that sub panel to the right we call it in the same building or structure then article 215 is used but if that panel board was located outside the building, maybe in another building, and that was a feeder routed over to that building, then we would need a disconnect in that main in accordance, uh, or the, a main in that panel board in, a, in accordance with uh, uh, 225.33. Uh, if you're having uh, just a main installed, and it's not an industrial a single management uh, type facility. We've, we covered that, you, if you remember, if you've gone through this presentation and picked up chapter six. If you uh, want to review that, then just go to chapter six and it'll uh, review in more detail where you feed from one building uh, to another building and set equipment in that building or have the service equipment in a substation with feeders going up to uh, uh, industrial type sites. So figure 7-15 is showing that that sub panel does not have an overcurrent device and you're not limited to the 42 circuit rules without coming up 408.55 is applied. And that's what uh, this figure 7-15 is illustrating how the exception one to 408.36 applies in relationship to where the overcurrent protection mains are required.